Hello everyone. Malaski is here. In today's video I gonna show you how you can make profit by crafting mounts, even low tiers. First, you need breed some animal to level up harvester and animal breeder branch and unlock them. You can unlock tier 4 animals in a day by raising chickens, that's enough to make good profit from them. You can craft all kind of mounts in Sadler shop. I'll show which ones have good profit and when we should use our shop in island for crafting them. For normal mount, tier 3 to tier 6 transport ox are good options, because you can find tame ox in these tiers with an ease in the market, also they have good profit. For tier 7 and 8, it's better to breed them yourself, they usually have high price on market and you can't make good profit unless you put by order for it and it will take time. Next, tier 3 to tier 5 riding horses and tier 5 armored horse, these are good option too. For higher tiers you may can make more profit but it takes a long time to sell them, because people usually use tier 3 to tier 5 horses. For rare mounts, Stag and Swiftclaw are fast seller but they usually have low profit because there is a lot of competition for them in the market. Tier 5 faction mounts usually have profit if you can find city hearts and tame animals at good price, or if you are a faction player. For tier 8 faction mounts, it's better to raise them yourself, because they usually have high price in market. Dire Wolf and Moose are profitable options too, also you can sell them fast. Next, Avalonian Basilisk, it is really good profit but you have to know how you buy Avalonian energy properly. For other tier 7 and tier 8 mounts, you can't make profit unless you breed them yourself or find them in really good price. Let me show you some examples, also show you how I make millions of profit from them. Avalonian energy is an expensive item so when you put by order for them, you have to pay a lot of tax, so before that, Look difference between prices then put you by order if it needed. For example, if I put by order for it, it will cost 2844 for me because of 2.5% tax, when there are cheaper prices in the market right now, and I can buy them one by one without order. Also, Avalonian Energy has almost no weight, so check all markets for lower price and use Travel Planner for transporting them. Let me show you how much profit we can make by crafting it. It needs 1 Swamp Dragon and 5000 Avalonian Energy. You only can craft normal quality Avalonian Basilisk so buy cheapest Swamp Dragon at any quality. Also, it returns nothing, so you can build your own Saddler shop in your island and craft it with zero tax. So at the moment, you can make more than 2 millions profit by crafting Avalonian Basilisk. Well, let me give you another example. I'm gonna craft tier 3 and 4 transport ox, and show you, that you can make good money by crafting low tier mounts too. Transport ox needs 1 ox and 30 planks. I bought each ox about 5150, and for planks, I'm gonna refine it myself. I put by order for wood at Limehurst, then transport it to Fort Sterling for refining because Fort Sterling has bonus for refining wood. I also use tier 6.0 Kraken Salad for mass producting low value items. All cities have same resources return rate for crafting mounts, so just find the cheapest shop and bring your materials there. Also in few cases, crafting mounts may have more profit in your island. I'll show when you should craft it in your island. Crafting mounts only return 15.2% of resources not the animals. So before crafting, calculate the value of returned resources. If it is lower than shop tax, you should craft it in your island. In my case, this tier 3 plank costs 85 for me, means it returns 388 worth of resources, and shop tax is 188. Well it's worth it to craft in this shop. 
But in other case like this, crafting an island has more profit. This is my profit for each tier 3 and tier 4 transport ox. I made more than 6 millions like this. I don't worry about selling these amount of boxes, as you can see they are super fast seller, also I can transport them to other cities and sell them even faster. Only thing that I should consider is, I don't put them all in one sell order, so if someone else put order on mine I don't lose much for setup fee taxes. Fortunately, in my case I didn't need to change my prices. For required resources it's better to refine them yourself, or if you don't have time, buy them from cities that have bonus for refining them, usually you can find cheaper. You can open city maps and see, which city has bonus for which resource. Limehurst has bonus for refining cloths. Fort Sterling has bonus for refining planks. Thetford has bonus for refining metal bars. Martlock has bonus for refining leathers and Bridge Watch has bonus for refining stone blocks. Also, you can use Discord servers to find cheaper resources. I have weekly giveaways, on Saturdays. For participation, type your in-game name along with your comment in comment section on my last video. I will post a video of the winner, on Saturday nights. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful for you. If you like it, please like and subscribe my channel, it will help me to make new videos for you.